Hello, Trap Talk listeners. Zach Nanini here with my co-host, Richard Marshall Jr., and with our good friend, Patrick McCarthy. Uh, Patrick has been on the show before, and he's yep. a multiple-time All-American ring winner, basically done it all in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame Ohio, if, Hall of Fame ATA. If you haven't listened to the episode, uh, we did an episode with him and his daughter before, so go back and check it out. We'd like to have him on for some more stuff, but he's been really hard to get a hold of. He's got a busy schedule, so um, we just got done with the singles today. Yep. It was windy in Tucson, Arizona. Stuff was blowing around a little bit. and what do you tar think, Targets were bad today, but it's okay. There's tomorrow. There's always but let's get to what we're here for with Pat. Pat, explain the, the Stealth Plate Pro. Yes, sir. This is a Stealth Plate Pro, and it's a hidden plate, uh, so you can have an adjustable plate on your gun without cutting your wood off and adding aluminum plates to it. So this will move in any position that those aluminum plates will only you don't lose the beauty of your wood and add that aluminum and the weight. This adds about three quarters of an ounce to your stock and uh, so it doesn't make your gun butt heavy. And oh yeah, it's very light. very light. That doesn't weigh anything. So like I know I've had those pad adjusters before where they're like five, six ounces right. back there and you're like this heavy old thing. Well, this is nothing at all. Right. So did you design this? I did and my friend Kurt Dutton, we've designed it and we have a patent on this and it's a three piece deal. I can show you two pieces of it. It's okay. connected but there's a few things going on here that are kind of interesting. So this has a nut in it, which on most uh, adjustable plates, you can lose this nut. Once you take this off of there, it falls down inside the gun and you have to fish it. This is captured in here, so it's not going to get away. It has three positions here for a pin to move. When the pin is in this position, it moves right hand, so all the mo motion is going this way. And then we, if you were left-handed, you put the take this pin and put it in here, all the motion goes left-handed so that you uh, can get the proper fit on your shoulder. The one in between is for in-between adjustments, gives you about half adjustments that these do. And what's going on here is when you tighten this screw down, you have it on the plate and this screw gets tightened. I don't know if we can get a picture of it here. On your so that's for like toe out, Pat, for right-handed shooter? To, the way it's set right now, right now. Yeah, pull okay. out right-handed shooter or drop at the heel. Yeah. Okay. So when you tighten this screw down to that position there, if you notice this screw right here, this screw right here, when I tighten this, it's on a lever. So when I tighten this all the way down, it pulls it that screw down. So it pulls oh, wow. the okay. toe tight against the bottom so the, the toe isn't floppy at the bottom. I see. Yep. So it locks up there. So and, I, yeah, so you're telling me that this thing's on here right now? Yes, sir. I can't even see it. Yes, sir. That's the beauty of it, right? Right. Well, let's check that out, Pat. Well, let, we'll, we'll see him so finish this, up with this thing. So this pin right here has a dovetail on the yeah. end of it here, and it fits into these tracks. So once it starts, so to adjust it, it's got to be in this horizontal slot there. So when you're down at the bottom, it'll go left and right. Okay. But as you move up, it no longer goes Ooh. left and right once okay. it goes into a channel. And then you can lock it in any position that you want in there. Any okay. place you want, you just tighten that screw down, that lever will pull it tight against the bottom there. And, and everything's will lock snug. It. Everything's nice and tight and won't slip on you. So it's on here right now. I want to see a live demonstration with it on the pad. So, so. With one screw, loosen it. Yeah. You can flip. And we'll tighten it right there just for a starter. Oh, that's cool. One screw and so then, then it won't slip. Nice clean look. Good, nice clean. No slip. Yeah, I like it other than it's on a silver sights, but it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pat, is there a lot of dealers? that you have that have available gunsmith? There's, there's not a lot of dealers, but there's about 15 of them. Uh, right off the top of my head at this shoot is uh, Winnick Custom Stocks is here, and they're, they're, they can supply them to you. And then uh, Carl McKnight Gunsmithing, he's here to do it. Yep. Then you'll have to look at our website for other locations. That uh, There's about 15 locations where you can have these put on. And so you recommend a gunsmith do it, not doing it at home? Well, you yeah, got to inlet a, it. It so. takes a kit. So you yeah. can go on our, our website. It's uh, stealthplateprocom and it shows you the kit that you need to put one of these on. So a kit to put one of these on costs about $600. I see. And then uh, plus you need a router. So you need a professional to put this on for you. But it gives you that nice, neat look. And uh, 
But Winnig's a show sponsor of ours. I mean, yep. if people want to have this, they can go down to Winnig. Right. They can put it on their gun, and then they have a little bit more adjustability. So right. What's the plate itself cost then? So to for this in installation is four ninety five. That includes putting the pad on it, and. Uh, just the plate itself, the retail on the plate itself is one ninety five. So installation, including all the labor and the pad and fitting the pad and putting this in your gun is four ninety five. About okay. five hundred bucks. So right. mm -hmm. not yeah, bad I mean, for that's, a nice. That, clean that's look. not different than anything else that you're getting, and it's this other stuff's bulky. Right. I mean, it's all around the same price. Right. Yeah. You could save a couple hundred bucks by maybe going to aluminum plates, but you have to look at the aluminum plates, and you're going to add four to six ounces of weight to weight the back of your gun, to the tail end of your gun. I see. Not be so balanced. And then you, th this is a one-time buy. So you buy aluminum plates and put them on a gun. They go with that gun. There's no other gun that they'll fit. This will fit any other gun. So if you, like good trap shooters are, they buy a new gun about every two years. <laughs> the good ones do. Yeah, you can take this plate with you. So you can take this plate out of here completely and take this pad, screw it right back to the gun. It'll fit the gun perfectly. Sell your gun and... Uh, keep this plate and then you can get it refit to your next gun. That next, you nobody's out. getting my plate. Right. I like that. So then the guy that buys this gun sees that it's inletted already. He can buy this plate for 195 and put it in that gun and he's off and running again too. That's why Pat's in the gun business also. So So this plate will go both ways. If you if you want to take Monte Carlo out of your stock, yep. this plate is symmetrical so you can flip this plate 180 uh, degrees and this thing will go this way. Up and you can make it a straight stock. I so, see. so the plate, the way it's set right now, it goes down, down. With toe down, and I heel see. down. And you can turn the whole thing upside down. The plates, screw the pad back to it, and then it'll come up here, and you can make it even across here and make it a straight stock. Straight stock. So you have a lot of adjustability. Yeah, that's an awesome product. I really like that. I think it's a good value. I mean, for what you're doing. You can have a custom stock, but every once yeah. in a while you change. You know, just well, a little you bit. Need a little, you need a little, a little adjustment tweaks, or yeah. something. That's, little tweaks, yeah. little adjustments. Okay. But it's definitely cool, and I appreciate you sharing it with us. Is there anything else you want to share that we haven't? I think we covered it. I think we got it. Well, we appreciate Perfect. your time, Pat. You're Thank an awesome you. guy. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Pat. for developing really this thing. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Getting it out to the shooters. So. Yep. Thank you.